Hello, this is my take six. This is Crimson Thing Tool at TVML. Here to show you how to output great videos from Windows Movie Maker. People who have used Windows Movie Maker in the past have criticized it because of the quality of the videos from whenever they're produced and also the the impossibility of making H YouTube HD videos without the use of separate software from Microsoft. Many people don't know about this software, but I recently ran into it a few weeks ago. So let me share that software with you. Open up your web browser, go to Google, type in Windows uh, Encoder 9. Go to the first link, it will be Microsoft. It'll ask you to redirect, go there. To download, select this one in the middle. Windows Media Encoder 9 series, click on it. Validate it, it'll ask you to download a tool. Validate it for you cheap bastards that are uh, running on piracy. Uh, too bad, good luck getting it. But if you do get it to get it, uh, if you manage to get it, just install it, download it, install it, go to Start All Programs, then go to Windows Media, and go to Profile Editor. Oh yeah, sorry, go to Start All Programs, Windows Media, Utilities, and then Windows Media Profile Editor. Hi, I'm back. This is take two. Here we go. Scene two. This is uh, Windows Media Profile Editor. Here you won't put the name that you want the file to be named as Lost My Socks, whatever. Description, put whatever. You can put like a uh, high def, high def on YouTube. Put the, f uh, the resolution is 16x by 900. 1280 by 720, whatever. Now, one thing first we need to realize is that YouTube's quality control. How do you get those HQ qualities and HD qualities on YouTube? Well, standard definition is anything around 640 to four for 640 by 360 by 380 or so, and below. Anything below the 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 resolution of 720 by 480 is considered standard definition and you will not get the HQ sign. For HQ you need, like I said, a 720 uh, times four, 480 and above. That's HQ. Now for HD you need 1280 by 720. This is something that Windows Media does not offer. Windows Movie Maker does not offer until you start messing with this profile editor here. Now there are several requirements for this. One of them is a few a few is, is a few lists. You'll see. Here you just put your name, I mean you put good uh, description, whatever. Make sure that your language is set to English or the language that you're using right now for your Windows XP or Vista. This will work with Vista as well. It's no problem. Say follow the same format as I'm showing you here. Now, you need to have two things checked, audio and video. Leave script alone and leave these two options here unchecked. Unchecked, right here. Allow non-square and interlace unchecked. Leave the boxes blank. Video format will be NTSC. I'm doing this in a hurry because I've already did this video five times. Hi, I just want to speak a little bit about the video size. Remember that it's important to have it at 1280 by 720 or higher to get the HD as you can see here I helped this uh, old friend from Calmera to do her video uh, so it didn't come out all crappy but this is what it would have looked like if I hadn't helped see the quality kinda crappy you can barely read quite gay this is what would have happened if maybe she would have done a little more work she might have gotten into high quality, but still, I mean, quality's a little better, but still, it's nothing like, wow, she's a pro at video editing or anything like that. Quality's pretty good, I think. But just remember that HQ, for HQ quality, you would need uh, 720 by 480, I think, for it to go ahead and pop up as HQ. Um, yeah, standard is anything lower than that, 
than 720 by 480 and HD Serb. See the quality difference? It's major. It's bigger. You automatically put into bigger. The quality is much much better than um, than the other ones. See? Check that out. Lower quality. A little better. You can almost barely tell the difference. You can't even tell the difference actually. But once you get to HD, you can tell the difference big time. The video takes longer to load, but usually people with fat connections shouldn't face a problem. See the quality is much much better. Just wanted to put a little video on that.